And what we're talking about here is that is at the moment that's one, two, five. But I've got the floor covering to go on. And the so I've got the board, the elements board, and the tiles and a bit of adhesive on the floor heating mat. So I need to raise this up 10 mil. So I've got some of the stud work in place, but before I go too far, I like to actually get the frames and physically measure those out, put those in place so that I don't make any mistakes. So I've put my soil pipe in, that's all ready to go. Now the great thing about using this Abacus WC frame is that they give you all the choices so that you can go straight out through the wall or you can go down through the floor or you can go left or right, whichever way you want to go so you're not running around looking for bits and pieces they're all there in the pack even though you don't necessarily have to use them and if you're worried about the extra expense of putting all these bits in that you're never going to use quite honestly when you look at the price of this abacus frame it's very competitive so i really would recommend you having a look at that so we've got this i've got a bit of silicon in there they actually give you some silicon on this sponge, but I've got to save that for later when I put the WC in. So I've siliconed up my push fit here so I can just simply pop that into place. And then I've just got to make up the frame. So with the frame, we've got a fixing kit here and we've got a different, two different lengths of bolts to suit where our pre-wall standoff is. And we've also got some wall fixings in there and we've got all the brackets to fix it with Plus, we've also got a couple of rubber feet, which is really just sound insulation. So when you flush that loo, it's not transmitted into the structure below. So I'm gonna fit this now. This is fairly self-explanatory. I've put the stud work up and the weight bearing, what I like to do, some people will fix these straight onto floorboard or chipboard, but I always like to have a bit of stud work, a nice sole plate underneath to take that weight. We've got about 60% of the weight which goes down on the frame and about 40% of it is pulled out from the wall. So we make sure we get a good fixing onto this wall. It's a really good wall this actually because we've got stud work so you'll see how I do that in a minute. Now you can see why I like to put the frames in as I do the stud work, because that way you've got a little bit of adjustability. Now, it says on the frame that we're looking for a meter from our finished floor level to this mark here. And I've actually got more. There's two things going on here. One is that I've put the sole plate in, so that raises it up, but we've got adjustable feet. So all I have to do is undo the bolts there and slide the feet up and down. So you can adjust it, but the meter is the kind of recommended. Some people might want their loo slightly higher, some might want it slightly lower, who knows, but the meter is the, the standard height. So I've adjusted this now so that I can put it on top of the, the sole plate. There's a bit of ply in there, and that bit of ply in there is because I've got an elbow just under there for, from the waste pipe, which I had to just miss. But all these things that you do with plumbing, you just find your way around any problem that life throws at you. Well, almost anyway. So I'll just check the level on this and then I can fix the stud work and the stud work is gonna go flush with the front of the frame. So once that's in place, it's kind of temporarily fixed. So why have you got that bit of timber behind the uh, stud work? Here. You've got a bit. Yeah, well that's going to go up above here and that is going to pull all my studs into line because best will in the world, you can see some studs. If I got to go put a level on this, you get a little bow. These are trees after all, you know. It's not metal stick. That one is pretty straight. That one's got a bit of a bow in it. So once I get a piece of timber along the front and I can put the laser line or a string line along the front and then I can just get some long screws 
and screw the studs and it'll either pull them in or move them out and then I'm going to brace it back onto the wall as well because these ceilings are nearly three meters high so you wouldn't normally have a stud wall quite as high as that so if you can imagine there's quite a lot of potential for whip there now when the when the tiler comes in once I've boarded this whole wall off with the elements board and the tiler comes in the first thing he's going to do is he's going to get a big old level like this and he's going to stick it across that board and have a look see if there's any bows in there see how he is so I've got to get that absolutely spot on because otherwise he's going to complain and start saying oh I've got to dub it all out with adhesive and all the rest of it so make his life easy make everybody's life easy if you can and I always think if you start right you finish right To support this because we've got approximately 60% of the weight of this unit is going down into the floor 40% of it is pulling on the wall if you like so we get good fixing in on both of those and then the lovely thing is this bracket here actually lines up with the top of this frame. So if you're putting a shelf on or something like that, you don't really need to put any extra supports in there. So, another one on the other side. Drilling round corners, do you know how much these cost? Just that adapter? Nothing. The whole set in the screw fix is about 140 quid. Oh, right. Drill and all, so that's not bad, is it? So I've got this nice and flush with the stud work and I've also put some screws through the side here into the stud work so really speaking this whole thing is absolutely rock solid and it needs to be because when someone's sitting on the loo and if they start complaining that their loo is moving around it will be because the wall's moving so make sure you do a good job there. This brace across the back here you go as far as you can with and I've got it into the stud screwed firmly into the wall behind so we've got that bolted in we've got the bolts in the floor and if I just show you what we're dealing with here and you really need to do this you know this is not a game this is not exaggerating you need to make sure that this thing is absolutely rock solid so that when that pan goes on you haven't got to do any tightening up because by the time you put the tiles on and everything else a little bit too late to do any kind of remedial work like that so this is the plate that i'm going to put underneath the shower mixer to hold my hand spray i've got one of those microphone hand sprays to go in here and i need to make sure that this is low enough so that it doesn't clash with the shower valve which is going above so I've measured the length of that and I know I need clear eight inches really so I'll leave nine to make sure that that doesn't fail all these things are worth testing if you can get the pieces out and just double check even though you might have a drawer and it's always nice to just satisfy yourself that everything's moving in the right direction So the great thing about these plates is we've got a little bit of adjustability so we can center it in the middle of the studs. If our studs are slightly wider, slightly narrower, we can bring this in and out to suit. But I usually work on giving myself 350 clearance between the studs and that works out for everything. This is the stud work just about done. I've got to put a little infill at the top just to frame the mirror. But other than that, I think it's okay. And it's very solid which is what really pleases me because that's what it's all about we're going to hang 
a double basin on this wall so I need to make sure this is absolutely braced up as good as it can be so I'll probably put another fixing back into this stud wall just to just to help it now while I'm on the subject of stud walls we do get comments from people who look at this pre-wall system and they say my bathroom's already small I don't want to lose all that space in my bathroom you know and I sympathize with that I can understand I've worked in a few small bathrooms myself you know some of them are real head scratch to get everything to fit in so okay this isn't for everybody let's first of all say that the pre-wall system isn't for everybody but when you look at the way that WCs are put in with the way that people put losing and they run that pipe along the wall that four inch saw pipe along the wall and they box it in and the, the system is showing and everything else not only is it a dirt trap and a bit of a mess but it just doesn't look very clean and streamlined and actually the bathroom looks a lot more cluttered so this is dead space as far as I'm concerned we've got the pipe going along here and we're not going to do anything useful with that space behind there but when we get here we've been able to set the mirror back we've got storage above the WC which is all set back flush we're not talking about having cupboards hanging out of the wall that you bang your head on when you're shaving and all that kind of thing so everything in this line is kept absolutely flush absolutely back so the fact that we've lost eight inches off the room to do this doesn't really matter that much because we've still got the storage space all that space above the pipes you were never going to use anyway and when you look into the room and you see that lovely clean wall that clean line all the tiles in a straight line no projections everything looks more streamlined and therefore it looks a bit bigger anyway what I call the TARDIS effect so here's the moment of truth these are the basin frames and if it was just one basin that I was putting in it wouldn't matter too much but because I've got this double basin and both of the wastes have got a dock in absolutely precisely this is the only critical measurement in the whole room everything else you can give or take a few mil it's not the problem but here I need to make sure I've got this right and I don't know you know I've measured it I've been careful I've tried to keep my carpenter's head on rather than my plumber's head and uh, I've got two of these frames to mount side by side so I've set the studs out to give me 500 millimeters clearance so if all goes well I've just put that chop there just to give me a space so that's one I'm happy enough with that that'll be fine let's just check the one on the other side a little bit tighter but still lovely still absolutely fine now as I say the critical measurement is going to be from the middle of this waist to the middle of the waist next to it and up here on my drawing I can see without my glasses that I've got 580 millimeters for that center to center so I've measured it all I mean I've, I've been careful so I should be fine in fact I've got it marked out here on the top so if I just check that again 580 spot on ski that'll do time for a cup of tea the stress is over two ducats one on top of the other storage space for shampoos and whatever else you've got in your shower totally waterproof these are pre-made so you don't have to mess around with bits of ball trying to make up your own they won't leak they can be tiled inside and what we're also going to do is we're going to put little led lights underneath them just well sorry just in the underside of the top there just a little bit of illumination there and I've left a little space here I like to leave a little space because when I put these in I'm going to put them in on a bit of MD sealant all the way around bed them in so that that is belt and braces again just one of those things I do and uh, they don't need to be mechanically fixed once that sealant goes in there they'll be fine so I've just got to put the shower head mounting plate above it and I've got that all marked out as per the drawing 
2.2 meters, very high ceiling here, so we don't want to put it too low, it looked lost otherwise. So we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm, I'm very pleased with it, everything's solid and you know, I'm a plumber, not a carpenter, but I've enjoyed myself actually. I quite enjoy having a day off from strangling pipes to do a bit of woodwork and I'm getting better. Who knows, another 20 years, I might be able to put my name to it. So now I really have finished all this stud work, this pre-wall. I thought I'd finished, and then I remembered I had to put this bit of framing up the top here so that this will frame around the mirror. So it is now complete, and I'm really surprised, actually. I shouldn't really be surprised, but I am, at just how solid this whole thing is. You know, there just isn't any movement in it. And to tell you the truth, I can't really figure out why. You'd normally expect a little bit of a wobble in the stud work. Anyway, it's all to the good because this is gonna have a very heavy double basin on it, so we don't want any movement there. And obviously the loo and the shower, you know, everything's gonna be rock solid, which is how I like it. So now I'm gonna get on with piping everything up and get all the pipe work in the back, get it all pressure tested, test the wastes, and make sure everything is good, and then we can board over the top of it. Sometimes I think that magnetic spirit levels are a nuisance because they pick up all the screws and all the nails and everything, but in cases like this, they've got their uses. Now when you put this easy plan frame in, it's important that it stays square because when the cabinet goes in after the tiling's been done, we want a very smooth docking of that operation. We're not gonna be fiddling around shaving bits off the edge of the cabinet to get it to fit. You've got no scope for adjustment once it's all tiled in all the way around. You won't be doing any little last minute tweaks on it. So this piece of polystyrene is not just for packing, it actually has a function, and that function is to make sure that the frame stays absolutely square at right angles, and so long as you can get that in and out easily, it means you've put that in the right place and you'll be fine, but it's just, I know some people would just chuck the piece of polystyrene away, put the frame in, a little bit out of square, and then find that they've got a headache later on, so we don't want any surprises. <laughs> 